And this is a really, because because the day before, he holds this other town hall where he answers like only several questions. And then he starts dancing around playing, they're playing music for 30 minutes. I mean, I don't know. He starts doing the, what would you even call that? The masturbation dance? I don't even know what it is. He starts doing that weird dance with both of his hands. And this was the point where he did actually answer a few questions. And then he tells his voters to vote January 5th. This is something where I actually agree with Donald Trump. I hope all those voters wait till January 5th to vote. Have a listen to this. It will be, I'll tell you, if everything works out, if everybody gets out and votes on January 5th or before, you know. I agree. Listen, this is a message to all of the Trump voters out there. If you want to vote a little before January 5th, you can vote late December, right before Christmas. That's totally acceptable. Please wait until then. I am beg. I agree with Donald Trump. We agree on this. If you're planning on supporting Donald Trump, please wait until January 5th to vote for him and even take his advice. If you want to vote like a little bit earlier, like maybe in December, please. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can vote January 4th. But I'm just saying, even if it's like late December, that's acceptable too. You can vote in December. <laughs> please take Donald Trump's advice there, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe I'm saying that. Uh, then he goes back to his Hannibal Lecter stuff. He can't leave this Hannibal Lecter. This, is this, this man is not well. Have a listen to this pay the price they're going to and it's going to be it's a very bad thing that's happening so they're coming in many are coming in from jails and prisons and mental institutions insane asylums that's like you know a step above right a sane asylum and whenever i go uh, hannibal lecter you know what i'm talking about they always go the fake news that's a lot of fake news back there too but they always mention you know it's a way of demeaning they just say Hannibal Lecter, why would he mention? Well, you know why? Because he was a sick puppy. And we have sick puppies coming into our country. I figure that's a lot. To, that's better than wasting a lot of words. You just say Hannibal Lecter. We don't want him. But, but they always sort of say, why would he say that? I do it for a lot of reasons. But I do really? it because we are allowing some very bad people into our country. So you bring up Hannibal Lecter every time you speak because we're bringing in some terrible people into our country. He talks about Hannibal Lecter every speech. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Kamala Harris is talking about the economy, talking about the future, talking about abortion, talking about guns, talking about all the major issues that I would like to think that most Americans care about. Meanwhile, Donald Trump continues to play the victim, continues to be the little bitch that he is on this. Uh, the little bitch tours, by the way, what they should call his tour, uh, playing the hard victim, the billionaire playing the playing the victim, talking about Hannibal Lecter attacking migrants, not answering questions directly. And speaking of sick puppies, what about the puppy murderer herself? Yes, Christy Noem. Um, she's quoting John Wayne. She makes some statements about Kamala Harris. She was, by the way, on the stage with Donald Trump at this town hall. Uh, the sick puppy herself, the one that murders dogs. Uh, Christy Noem, ladies and gentlemen. Sir, I have a quote that I like a lot by John Wayne that says, life is hard, but it's harder when you're stupid. Yeah. I think that perfectly explains Kamala Harris, yeah. right? Ooh. Right, sir? Now, our life has been hard because of her, but can you imagine what it's like to wake up as Kamala Harris? How hard life must be? Yeah, uh, well, there, there you go. The puppy murderer herself calling Kamala Harris stupid. Well, what is it like for Kamala Harris to wake up in the morning? I don't know what it's like to be Kamala Harris, but I could... Just wager a guess. She wakes up to her loving husband. She wakes up with a smile, probably, unlike Donald Trump, who sleeps alone, in my understanding, if he's not paying for sex. Uh, he wakes up by himself every day for the last 19 years since they conceived Barron. By the way, that might have been artificial insemination. I really don't know. I can't confirm that, allegedly. That would be a right-wing conspiracy theory. Um, but the sick puppy... Noam, again, the attacks on the far right calling Kamala stupid. With nothing to back that up. It's, it's outrageous. It's ridiculous. Um, and then Donald Trump wrapped up his really weird town hall in Pennsylvania. As I mentioned, he only took a few questions. And then right after he said he would take a few more questions, more music played. While Trump just stood there on the stage like the dope that he is. Um, it's very strange. Have a listen to this. 
open. That feels good. It does. I feel it right now. I don't know who's out there trying to get in, but there. But you know what? I feel, doesn't that feel nice? Yes. And you don't even have, there's nothing like outdoors. You don't even have the cost of an air conditioner if they have them in this beautiful factory. Yeah, because they're anyway, passing out. Ahead, please. They're passing out at your rally, well, sir, you idiot. Do you want to play your song and then greet a few people, or do you want to? Well, you had said you wanted to close with a specific song. Okay, or let's do a couple a of more fast questions. So, Justin, how about a couple of really beauties, <laughs> and we'll sit down and relax. Let me just give you the bottom line, though. We win Pennsylvania. We win this great Commonwealth. We are going to win the whole ball game. It's such an important place. And we relate. And, and we are up in the polls fairly nicely. Fairly nicely. But it's really important. And we're going to turn this country around. It's the greatest movement in the history of our country. MAGA, make America great again. When Biden would go on, he used to go on, say, we will stop MAGA. We will stop, you know, remember with the purple background, the <laughs> yes. pink. I mean, the guy is just unhinged.